Okay, welcome to the Unreal Engine live stream. I'm really excited to be here today to give you some great news that we have about the uh, about Unreal Tournament. Um, I'm Steve Polge. I'm a uh, senior programmer here at Epic. Uh, I'm David Spilinski. I'm a lead level designer at Epic. And I'm Stacy Conley, the community manager for Unreal Tournament. And wow, I can't believe we're here. It's really, um, it's really amazing. Who wants to say it? We are making a new Unreal Tournament. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. And, and really, the, the, the coolest thing is not just that we're making a new Unreal Tournament, which we're, we're amazingly excited about, but we're planning on doing it in close collaboration with you, with the community. And I think that's really awesome. Um, it's, it's amazing what I think we're going to be able to do with that. Yeah, we want to get everybody involved right from the beginning, right from day one. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're basically starting today on this, and we want to get everybody involved now, get their opinions, and... Uh, basically hear what people want out of the new Unreal Tournament. Yeah. And not just developers, we want gamers too. We want them to come to our forums and tell us what they'd like to see in the next Unreal Tournament. Yeah, you'll, the, on the forums is where we're going to be doing all our design decisions and discussions and you'll have an opportunity to, to really participate in a meaningful way and help us shape the direction of this new Unreal Tournament. And the, the cool thing for me is, I mean, the community is always all the, the mods and content the community has created has always been a huge part of the success of Unreal Tournament. So we're just trying to really bring that closer and basically get you guys in from, from the ground floor. Yeah, we've been releasing our tools with all of the Unreal Tournament releases so far, and the community has always gotten involved and made a ton of content, whether it's new game modes, full mods, uh, new levels, tons of new levels, uh, you know, spawning websites for the new levels, like Nolly City and uh, Beyond Unreal. Like, we have great, great community following, and we want to make sure that we give them something to rally around for... Uh, uh, the future and, yeah. and build on. Yeah, I mean, of course, we love Unreal Tournament, and uh, we've always wanted. Yes, we have always been thinking about how to, to launch a new Unreal Tournament, and we knew that that community involvement was a really important part of it. And so, when we launched these new Unreal Engine 4 tools, we saw an opportunity to, to make this happen, and it's pretty cool. I want to see a lot of new Unreal Tournament skins as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's lots of stuff that communities can do for us and with us. And uh, so, we're going to have a uh, a small core team here at Epic of, of veterans that are. Uh, super talented guys that have worked on on the old, past Unreal tournaments and our other titles, and we're we're all passionate about the game, and we want to make uh, an awesome competitive FPS game. We're going to be making this game for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Those are the platforms we're focusing on, and we're going to make the best possible shooter for those platforms uh, that that really um, can bring all the the communities for uh, all the community together onto this uh, new game. How much is it going to cost? <laughs> How much is it going to cost? Well, there are rumors that it's going to be free. Could free. that be true? <laughs> it's going to be free. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, 100 percent free. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is uh, a chance for a whole lot of people to get to play Unreal Tournament, and uh, and you know, it's all they have to do is go to UnrealEngine.com and they can get involved. And yep. it's not it's not ready right now. There's no game yet. Yeah. We're, yeah, yeah. we're literally starting you're, today. You're you're getting in on the ground floor. Um, we're going to start development today. Um, we're going to make. Uh, we're going to have a GitHub fork that shows you that starting from just the shooter template, and actually we're going to make it live. Hey, Mike, can you make it live? Okay, so we have a get. You can go look at it. There's nothing Amazing. there now, but you can actually uh, start looking at, uh, start opening up the editor with that uh, with that branch. Um, we're going to be working hard to get a basic deathmatch working so that we can use that to start iterating on design. Uh, we'll allow you guys can right away if you're an Unreal Engine developer uh, start either. Figuring out how you can contribute to our efforts, start planning your own mods, um, and we, we want mods to be built alongside with Unreal Tournament. We'll support the building of any kind of uh, gameplay or maps or whatever you whatever you want to bring yeah. to to this game. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what kind of ideas people have had. Unreal Tournament's kind of been uh, it's been a while since the last release, and so you know I feel like there's probably a whole bunch of good ideas that now we've got a good sort of canvas for people to try them out, and uh, and we'll be there with them, helping to make sure that uh, you know it it works within the game, and uh, we've got lots of uh, uh, good documentation for Unreal Engine, so I think we'll be able to get a whole lot of people in there making one, great stuff. One question from the audience: People are asking, is it going to be free to play? Or it's going to be free. It is, oh, is it going okay. to be yeah. it, it's, it's free. Free. So yeah. it's not free to no play. No microtransactions. It's just free. It just means you, 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 can, you can get this game and you can play it. And of course, to start with, like we said, there's not a game yet. Um, we're going to be building, building the game with a team here and with the community. 
when we have a good alpha build ready to, uh, to get feedback from gamers, we're, we'll put that out. That will be free. As we go along and continue development, everything we release, everything that Epic makes is going to be free. And make sure you go to unrealengine.com and sign up for an account, and that will get you onto the Unreal Engine forums and the Unreal Tournament forums. Yeah, yeah the Unreal. Yes, of course. And we want, I mean, from the beginning, we want people to be participating in the development of the core game, but also making their making own mods. mods. And, and over time, we'll have a, a, a marketplace, uh, our Unreal Engine 4 marketplace. We'll be able to use that for people to, to give away their mods. It'll be a really easy way for, for players to download mods. Um, and if people want to buy or sell them, then they'll have the opportunity to do that as well. Yeah, Unreal Tournament's always been uh, a great game for all sorts of ideas. So we, we see it in different kinds of maps and, and uh, different styles, whether it's, you know, we've had what we call, uh, affectionately called bathroom maps, which are very different <laughs> than the types of things yeah. that we've had soldiers. in there. Yeah, yeah, tons of different ideas. And it, it all s still works with Unreal Tournament. And so, yeah. um, you know, what we have is this ability for people to release whatever they think is just going to be fun to play. Yeah. And I think that, that you know, there's there's so many talented developers out in the community that right. that they're going to be able to, to do a lot more than we could by ourselves, and we and we realize that. And you know, like I said, so much of what's cool about the about Unreal in the past has come from the community, and so I mean, we want to more than just foster that. I mean, we want to to bring you guys in and make you a key part of this process. Most of our people working on Unreal Tournament were actually modders to begin with. Yep. Yeah, we've uh, a few of the, the teams that we put together for different Unreal Tournament releases have included people that have come from the Unreal Tournament community and now work at Epic and uh, myself included. Right. Uh, and uh, you know, it's been something where releasing the tools and having uh, you know c good communication with other people in the community that can help you develop your own skills as well as share the skills that you have with others means that we just end up generating lots of great fun uh, stuff to play in the game as well as uh, you know it really is a, it's a community there are people that you get to know and I've run into people that I've only known on the internet uh, you know at different trade shows and things and right. and they say hey are, do you remember me from this forum or, or this community bonus pack and it's like oh wow it's yeah. great actually it's been cool since we uh Started uh, teasing that we were going to say something uh, going out to all the old forums that we all used the to old visit. forums and all the old going people sending us messages YouTube saying, forums, "Tell us what's going to happen." Beyond and real, and seeing these old names popping back up. That, right. you know, Lord Porksword is going to be making his his <laughs> mods, of course. <laughs> yeah. So um, so I, we're we're so excited about this. Um, I mean, we we love making this kind of game, and and we're excited to get back to our roots and yeah. and really bring it forward. I mean, I think that there's there's a lot of opportunity to to really create uh, a next gen version of the competitive shooter and, and that's that's what we hope to do yeah I, I mean we're actually fans of of this game you Absolutely. know we've, uh, you know whether it's people that have come in because they were fans originally or we just still love to play the game and so that is just adding to all the excitement that we have to be able to jump back on this and work on Unreal Tournament again and excited to see the competition out there again too yeah yep yeah can you guys talk more about the marketplace what people can do how to when are they going to get it, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Okay, so hey, this is Anna. The question was, uh, you know, about about mods and how that will work. You know, coming to marketplace. Yeah. So you can already see. You know, we have an early version of the marketplace uh, with Unreal Engine 4 now, and you can download some of our our content, and sample content, and demos and things like that. And so we're going to be extending that marketplace to be suitable both for us to, to provide content, but also for, for uh, develop, Unreal Engine 4 developers to provide content. And that will include, of course, um, Unreal Tournament uh, modders. And the idea is any con kind of content you make, whether you know, from a, a map, a new character, a new weapon, you know, to, uh, all the way up to a, a full, almost total conversion type of mod, uh, you'll be able to provide on that marketplace, and you'll be able to choose whether you want to give it away or, or sell it. Um, we want to basically enable our developers to to be successful and to connect with the community. Yeah, we want people to be able to get their work out there and seen by more people, and having a unified place for that is going to make it easier than, say, going to a website and having to find a, a file and figure out how to install yeah. it. And, you know, it's... And which folder it goes into... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so we, we want to make it easy, and we also want to be able to have people's uh, ideas be showcased there. So, uh, and it, it's, yeah. it's hopefully going to be something where uh, 
you know, the best ideas get uh, a lot more attention than they would have otherwise. Yeah. I think what you said is key. I think, you know, making it really easy for players to, to find and, and download these mods is, is, is a key part of making mm -hmm. them successful. And that's what we want is we, you know, these, uh, what, you, what the community makes being successful is what makes us successful. And, uh, and so we're really, we're really, you know, it's really important to us to get this right. And it'll take time for us to get this right. But the idea is we're, we're going to be working with you guys and iterating and getting your feedback. And we, we have the time to do and it listening. right. And, and there's nobody between you and us. There's no publisher. It's just going to be a journey that, that this, you know, the Epic team and the community is, is going on together, and, and we're going to make the best game we've ever made. And you'll have direct access to us yeah. as well. You can, you can message me. We'll be on the forums talking yep. every day. Get on the forums. Uh, you can sign up now and uh, create an account on the UnrealEngine.com forums and come talk to us. Uh, we're going to be on there after... Today. Yeah, today, <laughs> yeah. After, after the live stream. And, uh, and uh, we want to hear what, what you guys are excited about as far as yeah. it, it relates to Unreal Tournament. And, uh, you know, we're excited to hear that, too. We want to know right. what everybody has been clamoring for. Uh, and uh, that just, you know, it's something that uh, I'm looking forward to. I know what they've been talking about. Oh, you do. <laughs> I've seen a lot of posts, so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for them to come over to the Unreal Engine forum so you guys can see them. Yeah, it's it's uh it's really exciting, and we'll, yeah, we'll jump right in. We'll start talking about. Uh, we'll answer your questions. Start talking a little bit about our plans in general terms, and and we're going to be refining these plans. You know, working with you guys to figure out uh, how we need to do it, uh, how you guys want to contribute. Um, certainly, like we said, you know the. Our, our, our design discussion is going to be open. I'm sure you know most of this stuff is going to be easy. I don't think there's going to be any contentious decisions about you know, movement <laughs> no, or no, anything. No, no, nothing contentious <laughs> at all. Yeah, everybody's going to agree. I'm sure yeah. the forum is just going to be you know I I I you know yeah. uh, yes. when it comes to every single issue. <laughs> but, so uh, yeah, but it'll be a process where everybody really gets a voice and gets to participate and meaningfully. I mean, you, you'll feel like you're a part of the of the decision process and you'll understand, you know how how we all work together to make decisions why we made a decision and I, I, I'm hoping that, uh, that working like this we can, we can come to the best decision for how to move the game forward and also that everyone will buy into what we're doing. And uh, you know, it's, that's, that's a challenge but we're excited about meeting that challenge. Yeah and speaking to the transparency of it, I mean this is, this is even new ground for us. So this is, right. you know, we're, we're expecting there's going to be some, some speed bumps and th some things that, you know, along the, the way that we weren't uh, uh, you Planning know, maybe on. expecting at the beginning, but you know, uh, you know, we're going to make sure that we do our best to to include everybody and and uh, and uh, make sure that Unreal Tournament keeps getting built and yeah and uh, yeah, it does seem kind of crazy at yeah. first, uh, you know, when you describe this idea, but I think Unreal Tournament is the perfect kind of game to do this with. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's, a, it's always been it's a game that's always been very open to the community. It's uh, the way the game is built is amenable to having lots of people working on different parts of it at the same time. And, uh, and I think with our Unreal Engine 4 tools, it just really um, empowers everyone to, to make amazing stuff. And, uh, and we hope to see what you guys make. Some of the most yeah. popular game types out there have been from the community as yeah. well. And mods. You know, yep. Things that people just keep on playing and keep going back. Yeah. And they're still playing today. Yeah, and it's really, it's not just, I think, you know, where we're going to really benefit is not just with developers um, helping participate in, in making great content, but it's also gamers. Um, right. You know, one of the things that we always discovered with, uh, with UT, and we've tried before to release demos to kind of mm -hmm. help with this issue, is we test and test and iterate, and we try to, to make sure that the game mechanics are balanced and everything. But when we let it out, I mean, immediately there's 10 times more. The first day, there are 10 times more hours spent playing that game than the whole development time we spent playing the game. And so people find yeah. lots of stuff that we just weren't able to, to, to nail down. And, and now we have an opportunity to be working in an open format where we're getting feedback and we're Consistently. balancing the game and tweaking it and, and making sure it's fun but fair all the way through the process. And I think that's going to be really powerful. Yeah, everyone's feedback out there is going to be uh, invaluable, really, towards making this a great Unreal Tournament game. Yeah. Uh, you know, like Steve said, uh, we ha we can test everything here and think we've got it to the to the best of uh, of where it's going to be, and then you know people get their hands on it and they show us you know oh this needs adjustment that needs adjustment, yeah. and then we we get in there and then it's a tighter game as a result of that. And so with this open process, you know that's going to happen a lot faster. We're going that iteration is going to be a lot quicker, and as I'm really you know interested to see uh, how that goes. I think it's it's yeah. definitely you know an exciting place to be. Definitely. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so we hope we, we hope to hear from you um, and 
tell us how you want to be involved. Tell us, tell us what you're looking for. You know, tell us what your, your dreams are for a new Unreal Tournament. And hope to, hopefully together we can make it happen. And play together. Yes. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about the forums and the wiki that have been set up? Um, so we basically have set up a forum. I mean, you guys, so we've got, we've got one post in there right now, but you guys are going to be uh, christening it today. And uh, we'll be there, and we'll, we'll be trying to answer as, your questions as much as possible and really kick, kick this off right. Uh, we also have a wiki um, that basically just has a landing page now, but that's going to be where uh, we post our design documents and kind of refined versions of the, of the discussions we're having sort of as a starting point for uh, what we're talking about on the forums. And also, uh, we're also one of the things that we really want to do is share with you guys our process for making games. And we've got, you know, Dave's a, a lead level designer. We've got guys that have a lot of experience in how we make games. And, I mean, we want you guys to make content however you're comfortable making content. But we will share with you our process and kind of work with you so, so that uh, if it makes sense for you, that you basically are, get to learn how we make games and get, in, you know, get into a pipeline where we're really efficiently getting your stuff into Unreal Tournament as it makes sense. Yeah, for the people that want to contribute, you know, we're hoping that this sort of uh, level of communication will allow people to avoid maybe a few speed bumps or hurdles that they would have otherwise. You know, learning how to be a game developer ha is somewhat trial and error, and, and I think in a couple cases we can show people how we do things and they can, you know, choose to uh, use that or not and as part of their process. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to sort of create a whole new generation of Unreal developers that, uh, you know, enjoy using Unreal Engine 4 tools, uh, which is, you know, uh, a very uh, liberating uh, piece of uh, technology compared to what we've used before. And so there's, there's a, you know, it's a whole new landscape for development. And, you know, I think maybe we can share our experience with everybody that's These out there. These are all developers have been around for a long time. They have a lot of things that they can teach, you yeah. know, the people out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Cool. All right. Want to take a break? Uh, actually, we've we've got a few more people to, to oh, bring on and excellent. introduce. You know, we've like we said, we do have a dedicated team here at Epic yeah. working on this project. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's have Joe Wilcox come on over. Take a quick yeah. seat. Is it the sure. same Joe Wilcox? <coughs> this Joe <Yeah>. Wilcox? <laughs> <laughs> Don't show that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Doctor uh, Sin. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. Uh, I'm really excited to dive into Unreal Tournament again. It's been so long. and yeah. We're happy to have you, for sure. I, I can't wait to start getting out there and playing the game that we're going to work on. I, you I mean think spawn camping in the game? That I we're... never spawn camp with <laughs> defense. Thank you very much. Ah, it's, the, it's an effective strategy. It is it a very is. effective strategy. And if somebody can figure out how to prevent that strategy, that would be great. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sure they do. Well, I, I, think, I think that opening this up to the community is going to be so huge. Yeah. And the, the feedback that we're going to get right away early on in the early development of this game, it, it's just going to be fantastic. Yeah, and I think uh, I'm really excited about that. And I think also, I mean, one of the other things is, one of the things that always limited our ability to, to really innovate with the game is, is, is playtesting. Our process really depends on iteration and playtesting and coming up with new ideas and, coming, and finding the best idea. But when you really only have a small team playtesting, your, your playtesting time is really valuable and it really limits how many different ideas you can you can noodle on. And so I'm hoping having a, a whole right. community out there really gives us more opportunities to to go out in more more divergent um, directions and figure out what's what's the best thing. And you know, I'm talking, you know, not necessarily even from, from large scope decisions, but even in terms of weapon balancing or figuring out details about how movement works or um, you know, just ideas like there's a lot of times where, where we'll have a great idea, but we just don't have time to to iterate it on enough to make it a balanced part of the game. And now we, I think we'll have that, and that's really exciting. Oh, absolutely, I think that's probably one of the most exciting thoughts about this is that all those ideas that we were never really able to push and, and iterate on and yeah. and check to see how they would balance out, yeah. we have this huge group of people who are now going to help us yeah. do that. And I think that's that that that's we can't buy that. I mean, that's yeah. that's awesome. Do we have any plans on what type of game we're going to put out at first? Are we going to have any certain game type? Or Well, so, I mean, we're going to be focused first on just the core deathmatch experience. Great. Just because that's a good starting point for us to iterate and establish the, the basic movement and weapon balance and stuff that's like that. That's my favorite, so that helps. At, at the same time, I mean, we expect that uh, as that comes online, that people, that mod authors will be working on 
their, their favorite game types. Um, I expect over time that Epic will probably implement or, or lead the implementation of, of our some of our classic game types. I mean, Capture the Flag, uh, maybe down the road uh, Onslaught and things like that. But, uh, but we're going to really start small and focus on, on refining the core of what Unreal Tournament is. You know, while at the same time, I'm sure the community will be going wide right. in some cases. So. But that's a good thing. Yeah. I think that you know, by by setting that that really good core of what we think is the way it should go, and then letting yeah. the community really build upon that, I think that's the best yeah. way to go. So maybe we should um, introduce some of the other guys that are going to be uh, working with us. Um, um, Matt Matt Elfke is walking over here. He's been a long time. Uh, Hi, Matt. Uh, programmer on Unreal Tournament. He's an amazingly talented gameplay programmer um, that's, that's uh, done AI and <laughs> he doesn't want to talk, but he, he, he's, uh, we're really excited to have him as part of our team. Did you, did you actually get in camera? Yeah, no, no, no. He's kind of tall, so it's easy to <laughs> yeah, make sure. Bit. There he is. <laughs> yeah. And oh. then... Uh, Chris Perna. Who's next? Uh, oh, Chris, Chris Perna. Uh, Chris Perna is our... You may know Chris Perna. Uh, I'm, I'm a little yeah. shorter, so maybe I'll... Yeah. <laughs> Chris is an amazing artist. Your muscles will not fit in. And our art director extraordinaire. Um, he's an amazingly talented guy. He's been here forever. Uh, we were joking that uh, Chris paints water and then walks on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's Chris. This is, I think this is a great opportunity. I really do. I think uh, from a community standpoint, just to work with you guys and see uh, visually, there's a huge talent pool out there, right? Yeah. To see visually what these guys can come up with. Oop. I'm sorry. I think there's a huge talent pool out there, and to see visually what these guys can come up with, um, I can't wait. I mean, I mean that that's what has me super excited, right? Looking, trolling through the poly, the uh, polygon forums and stuff, and polycount forums and, and things like that, and CG talk. I mean, the amount of talent out there is yeah. is just great. It's incredible. And characters, environments, mesh work, lighters, um, concept artists. Um, you'll all get an opportunity if you want to participate, and I, that's that's what excites me the most. It's going to be know? huge. Stuff that we would never have thought of, you know. Um, so anyway. It's good to good to be here yeah. and good to We're good glad to, to have you, Chris. It's good hopefully, definitely. You know, I'll be happy to work with you guys. Thanks. Uh, we've got uh, Warren Marshall. He's a uh, woohoo. Uh, <laughs> Make it easy for you. Uh -huh. no, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Warren. Hello. Hey, Warren. How are you? So, can you tell us about yourself? I'm Warren Marshall. Uh, um, uh, I was Epic Boy back in the UT days. Yes, he was. <laughs> I won't be doing any maps probably, but I'll be you know, handling content and dealing with you guys creating meshes, characters, whatever. Epic Boy was a great map. Thank you. <laughs> it really was. I tried. So, yeah, so, so Warren's been here for forever. I mean, I guess you weren't here for the original Unreal Tournament, but you came right after that. You were part of the Unreal after. community already before yeah. that. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, he's been, he really understands the content pipeline, and I think he'll be able to work with you guys to understand how to bring content together so that so that other people in the community can use it and so that we can use it and uh, so he's going to be a really valuable part of our team. Yep, yep. I was looking forward to it. Yeah. Somebody else want to say hi? Dick? Get Nick in here. Neo Duck. Yes, Neo Duck. Hey, <laughs> my name is Nick Donaldson. I, I guess I, I started in the in the mod community back in the days, so I'm really excited to be to be working on this stuff as well. I guess uh, I was 12 years old when I first opened oh, up geez. UT. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> and uh, my older brother had installed UT, and I was like, U -E U what is that? Uh, UED.exe, double click, <laughs> crash. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully those days have long gone, yeah. but uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, being on the team. So. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you. Thanks. Oh, is there I'm anybody? taking a half hour to build lighting. Do you want to come back? Uh, unless somebody else, somebody else wants to sit down? Or? Oh, okay. Okay. He's got more to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it, you know, the big message is we want you to come join our forums and come contribute to uh, this Unreal Tournament uh, project. And so all those great people that we see out there, or, you know, if they're using uh, UDK previously or now Unre the Unreal Engine.com uh, uh, UE4 tools, you know, we want them uh, contributing to this project if they're right. if they're un uh, Unreal Tournament fans. It'd be great so. to talk to you guys again. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much great stuff out there, like like uh, Perna said on Polycount and other websites that uh, you know we're we'd love to have those guys contribute and and yeah. and come back to the to the mod community for this game. Yeah. We hope to get yeah some of the the teams that built some of the great 
old mods. I mean, both for Unreal Tournament and other shooters and things that uh, that we all play. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think we'll probably have to make a facing world again too. I yeah, we might have to make a facing world. <laughs> you know, we'll call up Inox maybe and a, ask him if deck. we can do it. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, there are a couple other okay maps like Deck, and you know, we might do it. Yeah. And we'll see. Yeah. I request request curse. <laughs> yeah, there's so many so many great uh, uh, maps from Unreal Tournament that uh, you know be hard to to uh, to be able to make them all here. But certainly, I'm sure everybody has their own favorite, and you know yeah. they'll be able to, we'll to lots of iterations, add I'm it sure. and share it and yeah, get everyone hyped about it. That's so. the thing, right? You can you, you guys can come talk to us and tell us what you want in the game. And not only that, but if you know what you want, you can make it. You can make it part of the game. If it's what you want, so I mean, I think I mean, both as a developer or if I was part of the community, I don't, I, don't, I think this is a, the coolest game project in terms of uh, being able to really uh, experience like making the, the the game we want to make. I mean, it's yeah, there's a lot of people out there that maybe are in, intimidated. They want to make a game, but they they feel like oh, there's all these aspects of it that I can't do. And in this case, there's a community where you can come in and do your one thing and work with other people right. who do the others. And uh, you know, you can use that to create a, a mod for the game or just a single component to add on or a collaborative effort. You know, uh, if that it could be as simple as. You want to design a, a, a map, but you don't want to do the visuals for it. There are other people out there that love the visual that. side, or you want to make uh, a, a new weapon or a new character or a skin, you know? So I'm sure Stacy wants a, a, a pink character skin right away. So, <laughs> of course. So, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's lots a of potential there. pink flat cannon would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Dana, is there anything we've forgotten to talk about? People are just asking, you know, what is the name of the game? Oh, uh, the, the name of the game is Unreal Tournament. To simply, I mean, this is a project that uh, we're gonna we're gonna create and build and shape, and, and it's gonna be an ongoing thing. And we're gonna keep working together with you and evolve it to to be the game, not just the game that we want to play today or next year, but but on down the line, we want we want this game to be a living project. Uh, the original UT kind of became known as UT99, so we just want to make this one to be Unreal Tournament. Yeah. yeah. And lots of people are wanting to know. What if they want to help? How do they learn? Are we going to give them tutorials, learning resources? Uh, tutorials? Uh, we are, yeah, definitely. We are going to help people that want to learn how to use Unreal Engine 4. And uh, there's already a whole lot of tutorials on unrealengine.com. We have a YouTube channel. We have uh, videos on our Twitch channel. And uh, so there's already a, a wealth of resources streams. out there. And certainly, as it relates to Unreal Tournament specific tutorials, uh, we'll be adding those. and. Our community has already been so great since the release of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, sometimes I get on there to try to answer people's questions, and I found that somebody else has already answered it. And so um, I actually have very little doubt that we'll have any issue getting people up to speed. Yeah, I think I think uh, also I think everybody will be really impressed if you haven't uh, become part of the Unreal Engine 4 community yet. Uh, how open and involved uh, the Epic developers are in the community, yes. and, and we're really working hard to to teach everybody about the, these tools and, and really help everybody be successful because, um, I mean, we, we, really, we love these tools and, and, and we're passionate about, uh, about the experience we're trying to create. Yeah, we're definitely excited to see, uh, to yes, see people on the forums excited. after <laughs> this afternoon and see what people are excited about. Uh, and so, you know, we'll be on there for, for a bit. And so if, if you haven't signed up, make sure you go do that now go so do that you don't right have now. to, you know, go and rush as fast as possible uh, and we'll be seeing you guys there soon. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on to the Thanks. stream. Uh, everybody, we're going to take a really quick five-minute break and we'll be right back with Unreligion 4 discussion. Bye. It'll be great talking to you guys again.